game tonight, but few will watch as closely as former coaches here in the New Orleans area for several players played before heading to Baton Rouge. And LSU coaching legend Skip Burtman says the team has recovered from worse defeats and will bounce back. Rob Masson has more. Several LSU baseball players now competing for the national championship come from schools in the New Orleans area, playing at places like Rag Sherman Field in Lakeview. This is Braden right there. Played for me in uh, 2021. That was the COVID year. Outfielder Braden Joe Bear attended North Shore High and Nichols State and graduated from Delgado. He then went to play at LSU, where he is now a starting outfielder in the biggest game in college baseball. I mean, honestly, he, he, he's one of the best kids I've ever coached as far as work habit. I mean, we'd have to run him out of the cages at night, you know, and you knew he was going to be successful. The LSU team has a lot of New Orleans connections. Trey Morgan went to Brother Martin, Cade Beloso to John Curtis, Will Helmers to Jesuit. They're all now part of a Tiger team, fulfilling a legacy built by the winningest coach in college baseball history, Skip Bertman. I'm not too worried about the score uh, last night. I know their attitudes will be good. Uh, we need a well-pitched game, I guess. Thatcher heard for a while, and then possibly speeds. So we'll see. For Coach Sherman here at Delgado, coaching Joe Bears is something of a family affair. Coach Joe Sherman also coached Braden Joe Bears' father. His dad played for me in 96 and 97, and that's his dad right there. He was a pretty good looking second baseman. But the family connection doesn't stop there. Sherman's father, the legendary Rag Sherman, also coached Braden Joe Bear's grandfather. He even walks like his dad. You, know, you could see that right off when, when B played here. In spite of LSU's 24-4 loss to Florida on Sunday, former coach Bertman says the Tigers have a good chance of coming back. He says one of his Tiger teams rebounded 26 years ago after a worse defeat to Alabama. We were at Alabama. We had a win for the game. Alabama beat us 28 to 2. Uh, next, next day, we win for the SEC championship. The skipper says he's proud of the 2023 Tiger baseball team and the carrying on of a winning tradition he helped establish during an 18 year LSU coaching stint from 1984 to 2001. It means a lot to me. I'm especially uh, happy that uh, Jay Johnson uh, is the coach. He's really terrific. He does a great job. Uh, evidently, you don't get to the last game of the year without the coach doing a good job. And he says a victory tonight will help secure LSU as a leader in college baseball for years to come. And not only did LSU come back and beat Alabama after that 28-2 loss in the 1997 SEC Championship Series, but Bertman says that Tiger team went on to beat Alabama in the College World Series as well. So he says tonight, anything can happen. Meg.